Hey guys, Scott Poley here. I've just got back in from being in the studio all day, had a great day recording. I'm about to go on tour with Rumours of Fleetwood Mac and I thought you guys might like to come along with me see some of the venues and the tour bus and some of the cities that we visit. So I'm going to do a bit of a vlog, let's go on tour. <laughs> Checking out coffee shop number one of the tour. Got a special guest, Paddy, here from Johnny the Baptists. We've got Etienne and Emily here. We're at Bread Ahead in London. Let me take you for a little look around the stage. So, got guitar world here, 12 string acoustics, various resonators, electric stuff, stand my guitar text kind of world here. Got Andy front at house, Emily's keyboard rig, got my world over here to do some show triggering and pedal boards and Etienne's bass rig. Got Etienne just setting up here. These basses, nice old P basses and jazz basses and such like. Say hello, Joe. All right, mate. Joe's our fantastic monitor engineer. Cause his nice DW drum kit. Dave's keyboard world with Bam. Hi, right, Bam. Hiya. How are you doing, love? Oh, Bam's enjoying being back at work. Got James's guitar world. And meanwhile, monitor board so Joe's going to do all our in-ear mixes for us and yeah capacity audience here in Cadogan Hall two nights let's go are you ready cos we've just done sound check sound check went really well we're just ironing out obviously a few little technical issues before we go and do our first gig, but we're really excited to go and play again. I mean, it's been, we've done three gigs within the 18 months. We did an outdoor festival and two shows socially distanced in Liverpool, but it still feels very, very odd. I'm not gonna lie. We're still wearing masks backstage. Obviously I'm just in my dressing room just now, but we've still got a, a pandemic on. It's gonna be great to play the music. I'm really lucky on this gig. I get to play some really great guitar parts and we've got a great set list for this tour. But yeah, excited to go and see how the gig goes down, how the audience feels about coming to shows again, and how they feel about the new material. So I'm going to try and bring you guys along with me and show you what it's like from my angle on stage. So I'm going to go and get ready for the show. I'll catch you later. How's it going so far, guys? Happy? Yeah. Hot. It's like a horse as well, but I think I've been there. I've been how are you doing, Etienne? Yeah. On base duties? <sighs> very hot but are the bases uh, working it. as good as you expected pretty much yeah yeah nice yeah, nice it. two more songs to go for us james is beavering away in the background as you can see in the little screen back there very quick interval check-in first sets down it went pretty well actually audience seems to be loving it great audience tonight here in london the venue is pretty much at capacity. A uh, few people have decided not to come, obviously, with the COVID restrictions and such like. But yeah, set went down pretty well. Only a couple of little technical hitches to fix for tomorrow night. We're about to go and do the blue set, so I've got to go and get changed and get back on the stage. I'll catch you later. <laughs>
Right, gig number one done. It's nearly beer o'clock, a bit hoarse from singing in a loud gig, but great show. Audience were right with us all the way. If anyone's watching that was in the audience tonight, thanks so much for coming and making it such a great show for us. Um, it's definitely time for a cold beer. And yeah, back to the hotel in London and another show here at Cadogan tomorrow. So yeah, bring it on. Gig number one ticked off, beer o'clock. <laughs>